All right, guys, this is Matt Livingston with New Life City. We are here at Northwest Lynn Summit. And your name is Turka? Turka. Turka, yeah, okay. Turka. I'm gonna, Surya Lyman. You feel free to correct me on that, yeah, yeah. Turka. You're no, from that's Finland. Good. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, you, Helsinki. You have White Point Optics, that's your company. Yeah. And uh, tell me a little bit about what we're looking at right here. Uh, so, this is the, the Lomocron. So, it's uh, our first anamorphic project, and it's a special one. So, it, it's kind of. Uh, collision of two uh, really different cultures. So we have the Soviet Lomo square front anamorphic elements in the front and then we have the German uh, engineering in the back. So we have the Leica R as the taking lens. So a beautiful combination and something uh, really unique. What would you say the having the, the Leica uh, taking lens on that, what does that change or what does that kind of add to the original square front anamorphics that other people have been used or rehoused by themselves? So uh, one of our founders and, and our chief uh, technician uh, behind this uh, design is uh, Timo Alatakari. So he had his training in, uh, in Germany, actually in Jena during uh, East Germany times. So he, he has like... Uh, love for the for the German class and and what the Leica does uh, the original taking lens Lomo is uh, it, it's not uh, performing too too well uh, so so basically what the what the Leica does it kind of enhances all the beautiful characteristics because people love the Lomo look it's, it's kind of wild but with the Leica in the back it, it gives it more uh, it, it kind of like enhances all the characteristics so it, it gives it more resolution it gives it more performance, but also there's the beautiful Leica colors. If you if you look at the the flares, and you can get these golden spheres, and it, it, it's just a beautiful like combination. It's kind of like the Lomo square front on on steroids, you know. Love that. And so obviously this is your first anamorphic project. We have lots of lenses yeah. behind us. Tell me about a couple of the other projects you've been doing and um, ones that you're really excited about. So I don't know if you see like the. We've been expanding our selection of uh, of rehoused uh, lenses. So basically, we have uh, we have two uh, like the basic frame sizes. So this is the Nikon AIS, and uh, for the smaller form factor, 95 millimeters, we do also the Kinoptics. Uh, we do the Olympus uh, OM. OMs are nice. I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. Also for the 95. Um, we have some really unique ones. So this is the Super Takumars. So this is the Pentax. And actually, this is from one of our clients from, uh, uh, from Mediabox, Bradley. So he, he's been like handpicked uh, a selection of beautiful like 60s uh, Pentax. It, uh, it has like this uh, beautiful uh, kind of like golden uh, coloration oh, nice. to it. So it, it's like, um, yeah. Beautiful bouquet, uh, and this is like the other <coughs> standard frame size we have, the 110. So it comes with uh, with Leica R, with Canon FD. Uh, we have a very unique one here as well. It's the Canon Dream Lens. So this is also for the 110 form factor, and we're the only ones to do it in uh, PL mount. So, this so is PL instead of LPL. Yeah, we really yeah. See that element uh, up yeah, yeah. You have to be a little bit careful with this one. Uh, so it's uh, quite fragile, but it, it's... Uh, Are there any uh, cameras that this runs into a sensor on, or is it pretty good for any standard PL mount, you know? Uh, well, y y there is like a little warning there, so y you don't want to uh, use it with cameras with optical viewfinders, because it comes so deep inside to the, mm. to the camera. Excellent. Well, I appreciate you uh, sharing me all your exciting work, and uh, you know the company's called White Point Optics. White Point Optics, yeah, based yeah. in Helsinki. Based in Helsinki. All right. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.